your face covered in flames, your brain may be screaming for water. But watch out. This is what happens when you pour water on a kitchen grease fire. Oil, like liquid paraffin, is actually hydrophobic, which means its molecules won't bond to water particles. The heavier water settles below the oil, allowing it to continue burning, or worse. The water may begin to heat up, turning to rapidly expanding steam. Douse your flames with water, and it could make your blood boil. So if it's the oil causing the problem, maybe the thing to do is get rid of it by blowing out what's left in your mouth. But open your mouth now, and all it takes is an accidental breath to suck in the flames, igniting the fuel and taking it straight down your esophagus. If this blowback hits your lungs, they could collapse. So keep your mouth closed, or you'll be taking your last breath. So what should you do? Any fire breather worth their weight in flames will already have a damp cloth on hand for this very problem. If you want to survive this deadly blowback, wrap the cloth around your face as fast and as tight as possible. Think of it as snuffing out a candle. In this case, rescuers were on hand with a non-water-based fire extinguisher, and she walked away with relatively minor injuries. If you want to put down this blaze, wrap a damp cloth around the flames as soon as possible. That's what you do if you don't want to die.